Today's myths are all about holding keys. First myth, I need to hold W to get where I want to go. Chances are if you're watching this video, you already know not to hold W. But in case you're not aware yet, holding W and looking at your destination during rocket jumping doesn't help you get there. Instead, you need to learn to strafe by looking where you're already going, holding A or D, and smoothly moving your aim. Myth 2. I should jump and crouch for every rocket. I see a lot of people start to do wall shots by doing a rocket jump for every rocket. They press, jump, and crouch and shoot every time. When you do this, you're making it a lot harder than it needs to be, and you produce opportunities to make a mistake that you could have avoided. If you're already in the air, oh, quick aside, the game considers you mid-air when you're sliding along or up a ramp. If you're mid-air, you can just keep crouch held and aim a rocket. There's no need to press jump or ever release crouch. Myth 3. I should hold space while jumping. Similar to the last myth, a lot of people keep space held mid-air, going through jumps even though it doesn't do anything for you. I've heard people think that it keeps you jumping higher, like Mario, or that it helps you with speed shots or whatever. Technically, it doesn't hurt, so if it's part of your muscle memory, then it should be fine to leave it alone, but it doesn't actually do anything. The one place it does make a difference is when gliding on top of water. Holding jump there keeps you at the top and maintains most of your speed. Myth 4. Holding crouch while in the air affects strafing. There's two angles on this one. Some people think that because the common advice is to hold crouch while mid-air, that it must make strafing more effective. This isn't the case. The reason you want to hold crouch mid-air is to get more power off of rockets and to lift your legs up so that you can make some jumps that you'd otherwise miss. Others who fall into this myth have some knowledge of air strafing from other source games. My area of expertise is rocket jumping, but it's my understanding that in some source games, holding crouch cuts your air excel by one third. You can think of air excel as your strafing power. TF2 has an air excel of 10, but other source games, the value is different, sometimes a lot higher so you can strafe way faster. To clarify, TF2 doesn't have its air excel affected at all by crouching, but results may vary for other games. Myth 5. I can't jump if I hold crouch. This myth is often left unspoken, but it plagues new jumpers who want to get powerful rocket jumps. They think they need to jump before crouch, or they won't go off the ground. Crouching, however, has several states associated with it. If you start to crouch, you can still jump until you're fully crouched. If you start to uncrouch before you're fully crouched, you can still jump while uncrouching. These are called C-taps. However, if you wait until you crouch all the way, you won't be able to jump until you're fully uncrouched again. Crouching mid-air skips those in-between states, so there's just fully crouched and fully uncrouched mid-air. Powerful rocket jumps start with a jump that's done during a partial crouch. If a player is avoiding crouching before jumping, they'll have a hard time getting the most out of their jumps. And our last myth. I should click for every rocket. When I shoot a rocket, I do one of three things. One is to click for each rocket. I do this for most rocket jumps, sinks, jerfs, wall shots, and generally most situations. Even though this is the most common way I shoot rockets, the other two are very critical. The second thing I do is hold M1. This is useful for most wall pogos, slow ground pogos, some walls, especially wall climbs, using rockets to time a jump, and whenever else I think I should shoot at max speed and can aim there early. The last method I use is to click for each rocket, but frequently clicking and holding M1 early. When I hold M1 early, it's because I realize I want the rocket to come out as early as possible. I'll do this method most of the time during speed pogo, wall and pogo catches, and occasionally during pre-fires for a sink. The ability to buffer rockets is useful, so don't ignore it and pigeonhole yourself into clicking for every rocket that you shoot. Thanks for checking out these myths! If you have any feedback on the format, or have any more that you'd like me to cover, let me know. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.